The fifth beta of the new iOS 26 is finally here and it looks like Apple is moving towards releasing their new software updates on a Tuesday rather than releasing them on the Monday which was the case for the first three betas but with the last two betas beta 4 and beta 5 we're seeing them just releasing these betas on a Tuesday. Either way the update is here let's go ahead and take a look at this update and see what's new. First of all you will notice the size of the update is actually quite big. Even though it's beta 5 it's around 10 gigabytes right here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and from what I have seen all across devices it will actually be quite big in size. Taking a look here at the new build number so this is the new build number of the fifth beta it is 23A. 5308G. This is the new build number for iOS 26 Beta 5. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the new features. First of all, on the lock screen, when you swipe up here to bring up the password, you will see a new animation right here. It's actually pretty cool. You will probably notice it right here. You can see that bounce. It actually looks really nice. You will also see like a new animation here for the control center and you can see it actually kind of like stretches like this so it's actually pretty cool and I don't see any other changes here on the control center. They didn't adjust anything with the blur, the liquid glass design. It actually looks really good as it is and all across iOS I haven't seen many changes when it comes to the liquid glass effect. It looks like Apple has basically now came to a point where they think the effect, the liquid glass effect is okay with what they have done and I think is okay it actually is really good it looks much better than the first beta and of course it looks much much better than the betas where they had just like removed it quite a lot so now it's probably the best that it has been throughout these betas. Now you will be able to find a really interesting change here for the camera if you go to the camera settings and scroll all the way down you will have a new option here for mode switching classic mode switching basically allowing you to use the classic mode switching on the camera app so we have a new one if we just disable that you can see on the camera here we have basically a new way to switch between the different modes but now you can also invoke the classic one if you don't like this change and enable it right here and we also get a new icon for airdrop so when you try to share something you can see we have a brand new icon for airdrop which looks much much better than the old one. Going into the notes app for the first time you will see the splash screen right here letting you know about the new things that you can do with the notes app on iOS 26. Now there is also a really like annoying bug that Apple has fixed with the photos app. You probably have noticed it that if you play a video on the photos app and you get out of that video you're just browsing maybe your photos or other videos it will still keep playing the audio from that video that has been fixed with this beta so these are some of the new features and changes that we have been able to find on this beta of course until now there will be a lot more coming in the next days but what to expect next it's really interesting to see what apple will do whether they will move on to weekly schedule or not from now on we'll have to wait for next week and see if they do it but a lot of times they have actually moved to a weekly schedule after the fifth beta so let's wait and see what will happen so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on this video and i'll see you on the next one